Hi guys and welcome to my first ever Genshin Impact prop tutorial. Today I'll be making Shenhei's headwear using some basic and affordable materials anyone can work with. So let's get to it. Starting off with the base of this headpiece. I drew its pattern on paper and pinned it to a piece of XPS foam. I then grabbed the pencil and used it to outline the shape of the base on the foam. The next step is to carve the foam in order to produce our base. As you can see, I used a knife for this process, which might seem like a not choice, but hear me out on this one. I've actually worked on this type of foam a bunch of times before, and after breaking a lot of box cutter knife blades, I learned that a sharp kitchen knife works much better. Now that our base has been successfully carved, it's time to make it a little smoother with the help of sandpaper. Oh, and by the way, there's gonna be a lot of sanding on this video, so please bear with me. After sanding, I used clay to fill in the little holes and scratches on the surface of the foam, along with a bit of water, to not only make sure the clay sticks to the foam properly, but also to soften the clay up and create a smoother finish that will be easier to sand down afterwards. And after leaving it for a few hours to dry, we're sanding again. And now we can move on to priming. I'm using wood glue as a primer and a brush to apply it as evenly as possible. I cut out the other parts of our prop from an EVA foam sheet and cover them in wood glue as well. After letting everything dry, it's finally time for some color. I started off by painting the base in white. And 
and after a couple of layers with a bit of drying time in between them, I moved on to the two red pieces. And finally moved on to the black piece. I did two layers of paint on each foam piece to get a bit more pigment and intensity from the colors. Moving on to the jewel, I thought of two different ways to approach this. And I'll explain both so you can pick which one works best for you. So here's the first option. You can use EVA foam to make the entirety of the jewel. And that was my original idea. Since EVA foam is fairly easy to work with, it's also more malleable and glue adheres better to it. Versus the alternative, which would be clay. And I went with clay just because I think it looks better. So in order to solve the glue adherence issue, I'm using EVA foam as a base. And then I'm using clay to sculpt the jewel piece by piece. I also used water to soften the clay and to wet the foam so the clay sticks better to it. And then I just sculpted and sculpted until I was satisfied with the results. And after the jewel dried, we're back to sanding yet again. And after sanding, I apply the thick layer of primer on the entire jewel. While it dries, I went back to the other elements of the headpiece and glued them together using all-purpose glue.
I spray painted the tool and hand painted the crystals part as carefully as possible. Then I did some shading with makeup. Yep, actual makeup. Believe it or not, the sole purpose of this eyeshadow palette is to shade props. I then cleaned up the excess eyeshadow and sealed everything with a couple of coats of varnish spray. After that dried, I applied glue to the back of the jewel and glued it to our prop. I did some final retouches, sprayed the entire prop with the same varnish and we're finally done. This prop took a little more work but I absolutely love the results. So much so that this will be my very first prop for sale on my brand new Etsy shop. So if you're interested in buying it, you'll find the link to my Etsy on the description of this video. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comments and subscribe to my channel for more content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Bye!